dropping everything. God only knows how much time we have to film this. But if we have enough time, we'll watch the whole movie with you, and you're gonna hate every minute of it. Oh, uh, why did I do that? Pretend you didn't just see that. That never happened. Greetings, human filth. Welcome to a special edition of the ghoul, the bad, and the, I wouldn't call her fugly, but this movie sure is. That's right, human filth. I am your host with the most STDs, the fattest doobies, and the most beautiful co-host, evidently. I am humongous fungus of your youngest with a special edition of the ghoul, the bad, and the fugly. The dolly dearest. From the fucking desert. That's right. From the desert to the to the tundra of Antarctica. Freezing the balls off. That's right, Dolly. And what are we watching, my dear? Today we're gonna have a rock and roll nightmare. Ah, God! <laughs> Come on! You know this is gonna be so delightfully terrible. I'm blaming this on you, Jason Brand. Yes, you. I'm not blaming it on the goddamn Viking samurai. I'm not blaming it on Aaron. I'm not blaming it on fucking anybody else that comes on your damn show. Love all of them. But I'm not blaming them. I'm blaming you, Jason. Thank you, Jason. I literally wouldn't be here if it were not for you. Exactly. I, I say blame and I need thanks because you put this lovely lady in my seat. My hot seat. And now we have to watch Rock and Roll Night, man. We have to. But before we, before we get into it, we have got a plethora of snacks. That's right, we got some, some munchies. Let's get the marrow. Let's really, let's get yeah, we'll get the marrow out of these later. I, I had full-on ham on the bone, but now all we got is bone. What else we got? That's right, we are going to snatch every motherfucking birthday with some birthday cupcakes. Which are going to be hard to eat. But I'll put them up my ass if I have to. You can put these up your ass and feel a lot nicer than the Pop Rocks. Ghoul! Ghoulade! Ghoulade! That's right, the ghoul, the bad, and the fugly is not sponsored by any of this stuff. None of it. None of it. How bad were your teeth in your asshole? Candyman is not crashing through my fucking door this Halloween or the Kool Aid Man. Oh, yeah! What I. What do we got? Hamster stuff. Hamster stuff? What is this? Space food! Space, but what do I look like a guy that's got space AIDS? Uh, don't answer that question. Uh, just don't answer I that can't. question. Uh, can't just like not get candy corn when you see candy corn. Candy corn. That's actually what my teeth were made out of. Up until I ate them all. Really good color screen. Hell yes, I love it. So these are mine, you can't fuck with these. No, I don't want Big Mama. Big Mama spicy wiener. Spicy wiener. With a spicy pickled uh, sausage. She likes the spicy wiener. You heard oh, it here spicy. first. Arizona, they're all spicy. What are we drinking? Are we drinking beer? Please tell me we're drinking beer. Beer from a root. Beer from a root. Oh, this is the good shit right here. We got the sphincter. We're not sponsored by sphincter, but I do love a good sphincter in my mouth. Fire brew craft soda. Look at that. As I, as I wanted real beer. But unfortunately, for this poison, I don't dare. I, don't, I mean, it's it's John Michael Thorne. If I get drunk, I might think that he's actually a woman. I mean, I'm looking at these tits on the screen right here, right I now. Some tits. Are those some tits or are those some fucking tits? Those are, they almost look like butt cheeks and tits at the same time, so I'm just having it. I love it. I know, yeah. this is like the amalgamation of poison if they had sex with everyone in Motley Crue. Except for Mick Mars. You like Mick Mars? You're great. Yeah. But all the rest of them now. We can turn this into poison. Uh, all right, before we get into this. Oh, God. I have to do a little. God. A little. Uh, what introduction should we say? An introduction, so to speak. Oh, God, do I really. You I'm not to... good at reading, but I will read this. I need this to piss everybody off as much as. All right. Should I start at the top or should I start at the? Yeah, we gotta start at the top. All right, human Phil. They gotta know what they're getting into. All hail the mighty Thor. By R. Ian Jane. And by the way, R. Ian Jane, go fuck yourself. I read some of this. I see what you wrote. I'm just saying. 
It's small writing. There's a lot of it. I saw it. I don't want to read all this. So we're going to get into some. Somehow, way back when in 1973, a young but buff Canadian man named John Michael Thor managed to book himself on the Merv Griffin Show. Remember the Merv Griffin Show? You don't remember the Merv Griffin Show? They used to have a segment on there with animals and stuff, and they fuck shit up every now and then, like the animals attack. Yeah, I don't know about that. It was great. There was on an episode of Seinfeld that Kramer got Merv Griffin set. He got his set, and he put it in his house and started reading up. That's right. The apartment turned into the set. Maybe that's where John Michael Thor got on on there. But anyways, I digress. (sighs) He managed to book himself on the Merv Griffin Show. In front of a live studio audience, Thor performed a rousing rendition of the song, Sweet. This song. You this, didn't do it. He's a, a rousing rendition of the sweet classic action song before laying on his back and blowing up a hot water bottle using only the power that lay within his mighty lungs. It's only good yeah, he's good at blowing, all right. <laughs> blowing something, I'm not just saying. I know. To make his debut even more impressive, Thor did it all while wearing nothing but a pair of wrestling boots, red, white, and blue sequined Speedos, and a John Holmes mustache. Rousing. Legend has it it was actually John Holmes's mustache. They removed it off him in the morgue after he died of AIDS. Not space, space AIDS. AIDS. No, right. Not space AIDS. Just regular AIDS. Just regular AIDS. Question his lifestyle if it was space AIDS. Yeah, if it was a space AIDS, I'd be wondering if he's hanging out with Captain Kirk. I think he's who started space AIDS, really. I I, I do believe that is what we've come to the conclusion of. Also, if you're going to go on the Merv Griffin show, do you really have to play a thrilling rendition of the sweet classic action song and blow up a hot water bottle with your mouth? Is that is that like the requirements? They're like, all right, Thor, your song is great, but you need a little more to this show. You got to inspire the future generations of guys that wear wrestling boots and sequin speedos. Mm-hmm. Huh? Some people actually guys know exactly how good he is. I mean, he's got to be full of some serious hot air if he's going to blow it up. That's a, good, that's a good point. I mean, if I was on the Merv Griffin show, I'd just put one up to my ass and rip the biggest fart since Viking Samurai opened his mouth. I mean, uh... Anyways, I digress. Sorry, Jason. Anyways, to make his debut even more impressive, he did it all while sucking dick. I mean, uh, uh, never mind. I I read the wrong line. Sorry about that. Anyone who has seen that appearance available on the Anthorology DVD from Smog Vale Records. Mm, Oh, bad. A little bit of self food. (laughs) <laughs> self promotion. It's not even self. It, they're promoting it. It's, it's not my shameless self promotion. This is this is there. Far more shameless. Yeah, but anyone that's seen it knows that if there's one thing that Thor delivers, it's an intensive live experience. Even in those formative early years of his career, it was obvious that the man had a whole lot of enthusiasm for what he does and how he does it. Enthusiasm, ego, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, anybody that blows that good... And is proud of it. They're going places. (laughs) And it's probably to the red light district. (laughs) You can tell just by the look on his face. On his face. I I did this last night, too, when I had to read this when I was practicing. You can tell by the look on the face of the banjo player standing in the background while Thor does his thing that this man is not to be messed with. A man who truly gives 110%. It seriously sounds like you're ad-libbing right now. Yeah, it really does. And I'm sure it's just going to get worse. I mean, I hope so. It's I'm sorry awesome. if I'm distracted by the titties on the stage up I here. I can't stop looking at them. Look at them, they're so shiny. I can't stop looking at them. I mean, I wish it was as blurry as this photo that they gave me for a mini poster. $17 well spent. I hang it up above the bed. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, I want to keep an erection, all right? Well, you'll have that handle for you. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I'd be on Viagra if I was on freaking head Thor near my bed. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Let's attempt to finish this off, even though this is going to be the entire video is me reading this, evidently. Just get to the part. His recording career, which took off in the late 70s and scored him a minor hit with the seminal Keep the Dogs Away, has been a long and varied, but many consider Thor to be the father of the Viking rock movement. Is there a Viking rock movement? It's not moving very far. It, was it a bowel movement? That makes more sense to me. Might want to fix it. Anyways. <laughs> Loincloth wearing super studs like those four boys from New York known as Man of War. And costume shock rockers like Guar. <laughs> what? Somebody needs to tell Guar about this. Wait, like, Guar? Guar does not wear sequin speedos and wrestling boots. Some people might wish they did, but probably I, not get better than him. I mean, Odorous had way better abs than Michael fucking goddamn Thor. And he could fill out some fishnets. Exactly! I know this guy's got like one leather strap going across his chest. That is not No! No! Yeah, he's definitely lubed up, but I'm not gonna say where. Anyways. Evidently he's also shared the stage with these with these bands. I, I'm gonna have to find out about that. We're gonna have to do some research. But it, where was I? Let me, let me just reread that again. Loin cloth wearing super studs like those four boys from New York, known as Man of War and costume shock rockers like Guar. Oh, the original Canadian heavy metal superhero, a debt of gratitude for kicking it's down the doors and making barbarian costumes completely acceptable in the world of rock. Fuck you! I want to throw my spicy wiener at the screen. I'm so mad at that. I'm going to shove my spicy wiener right up John Michael Thor's ass. Else well, we'd be wearing that sparkly banana hammock if he wasn't asking for it. What would have been? Is Alice Cooper non-existent? He's been around since the 1920s. Exactly. I thought Alice Cooper was from the 1820s. Fact checkers. Anyways, we're going to get to the movie here. We're going to see. Hopefully it's not too loud because if it's too loud, then our audio is going to be died out and we're going to have to... Yeah, we'll figure it out. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Brains, attitude, sleaze. Oh, greedy human filth. Are you tired of the same old lame old tabletop games? Don't be sorry that you got stuck in the game of life playing some lame ass game to lead you down nothing but shoots and ladders to bring you to some mamby pamby candy land. That's right. I forgot my lines, but I don't care. Because you know what? It's time for you to take some risk in the game of life. That's right, it's time to break the monopoly of tabletop gaming. It's time to get balls deep into the most action-packed 80s extravaganza that dice could roll across the table. If I even had a table. That's right, sharpen up your swords, load up your weapons, lock and load, whatever you gotta do. Fucking pound some fucking crack, smoke some fucking cola. Get ready to fucking shoot, stab, blast, kick, punch, beat, whatever, mangle your way through the wasteland as you get ready for the baddest tabletop game since, since something that I can't say because I'll probably get sued. It's time for you to dive balls deep into the neon lords of the toxic wasteland. That's right, human filth. I am humongous fungus of your rogues. Honorary scum dog of the universe, and I am here to tell you that you can get in on this Kickstarter, and you might even be able to play as me. That's right, it's the only game out there where you can 
you can maybe even play with me as as me as I play, you know, with myself as myself. So check out the Neo Lords of the Toxic Wastelands Kickstarter. Check out this badass book. I'm sure half of it's gonna disappear because of the, you know, the, you know, the, 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 the green screen. I mean, the uh, the wasteland behind me. Look at all this awesome stuff that I can't read because I'm an idiot. And I, you know, hooked on hooked on chronic. It worked for me. So the the phonics thing, I don't I don't get it. But still, check out the Neon Lords of the Toxic Wasteland. The most badass tabletop game since the tabletop was invented!